motor is that it has no starting torque. Uh, in our science and our physics, uh, most of the effects we explore are ex effects which are there all the time, like magnetism, you can feel the pull, or electric charges, you can feel the forces or currents, you can, you can measure the amperage or voltages, you can measure the pressure or gravity, you can measure the pull and so forth, temperature, you can measure how hot, but this effect only appears when it started. Now, uh, I have a, a bunch of uh, two volt uh, batteries in the shape of a uh, number of uh, these very large dry cell batteries, but they're really uh, lead acid batteries. Each one gives two volts. So I'm going to put it on the four volt uh, and just uh, here, and I they can hear the current flowing, but nothing's happening. Now, Roy, give that a spin. And so it spins in one direction. Now we'll start a uh, spin it in the other direction. It runs equally well in either direction and it'll run faster if you put more current on it. And so here's a situation where uh, without any coils, commutators, or rotors, or, or stators of any kind, uh, just the current flowing through the shaft supported on two ball bearings causes it to rotate. Now, the motor will run off of alternating current and direct current, and it also will start in whatever direction you start it in. Now, this is an example of an effect which only appears once it gets going. Now this has a lot to do with what I do because in my, uh, my rotating magnet uh, generator, the effect of liberation of the free energy only appears when the magnet's rotating. And all these uh, so-called experts and skeptics who always seem to uh, appear on the scene shortly after somebody tries to do something, uh, They've been doing articles about me in the Skeptics Journal, and somebody did a rather complete report, except all his measurements were made in a static fashion. That is, he, he's, he kept the disk between magnets fixed, and he put current in it, and f measured a torque, and said, well, there's nothing new. And I said, well, doctor, uh, what you've done is very interesting. You, know, you should write a report uh, for some journal, but uh, why not repeat my experiment where the magnet is actually spinning and see whether or not there's as much drag? Well, this is a motor effect, going back to this ball bearing motor, which only depends on the fact that you get it going, and there's no static phenomena connected with it. Now, the closest thing that I can uh, describe, which a person can imagine this effect, is something like this. If you have a, a, a sink full of water, and you pull the plug out of the bottom, you know that under certain conditions, the, world, the water will go in a whirlpool through the hole at the bottom of the sink. Now, if you put veins in the water and prevent that motion from happening, the water will flow straight down through the hole in the bottom, and you'll never see that. However, if you get the water started, it will pick up on the whirlpool action. And uh, one of the thoughts about this ball bearing motor, which is a short circuit all the time, and it doesn't make any difference whether or not it's delivering power or not as far as what current it's consuming, and the measurements have been made in the calorimeter to see whether it gets hotter if you take uh, power out of it. This one, you can take about 10% of the power out of it, but it's just very crude here. But there isn't any increase in heating or anything when you take the power out of it, and any power you remove from this machine you get from for, for nothing. So. Uh, it's representative of an effect which only exists once it's started. Now, for instance, if you have a heavy cable with a lot of current flowing through it, and each section of the cable is connected to every other section and it's fixed so it can't get loose and start rotating, then you would never notice this effect. But if you took a section of the cable out and put it on bearings so that it could rotate and then put the current through a cable, including this little section that had the freedom to rotate and gave it a spin, it might go round. And this might tell us something about space, ether, electricity, new ways to liberate energy, and all those kinds of things. And uh, my end machine is exactly in the category of uh, this ball bearing motor, that it's something whose behavior only exists once it's rotating. So, uh, uh, after, I guess, we, we had a little digression there, but, you know, it leads me into some of the things I've brought along here. Uh, I've been, uh, in earlier times, uh, 
here on the radio, and I've been talking about uh, my trials and tribulations and trying to get people to uh, repeat my experiments and uh, verify my results and so forth and so on. And uh, as the years have gone by, all well, that's taken place. And uh, I have here uh, reports. I have a report from New Zealand and I have a report from uh, Hindustan or someplace on the other side of the planet and I have uh, pictures of Tawari's latest apparatus which puts out uh, 700 times, or I mean 700 percent, seven times more out than in. And Paramahansa Tawari who's the uh, chief engineer of the nuclear power board in India. Yeah, yeah, he's a member of the uh, nuclear power board in India and uh, he's in charge of their Kaiga atomic project and he has made uh, a big, I have now a picture I'm showing, black thing is an electrolytic cell where he's using the output of the end machine to uh, electrolyze uh, or electrolyze water into hydrogen and oxygen. And I have all these papers and things with me. But anyway, he's getting along, and the government is supporting him over there, and... Uh, I know Rajiv Gandhi was supporting him, and then... Boom. And uh, I just got a letter from him, uh, July 19th, and he says, uh, Dear Bruce, this is from the Nuclear Power Corporation, and uh, Pete Dorr, and Chief Project Engineer. Dear Bruce, I've carried out preliminary tests yesterday on the latest space power generator, which has a modified space power motor and this ball bearing motor is an example of what he would call a space power motor integral with it tests taken at 1500 rpm at one and a half volts dc and 900 amps dc current gave efficiency of about 700 percent the above is the best possible results obtained so far in the next few days i will run this machine at 3000 rpm and complete all the tests on it as i had written earlier to you, Professor Armanti from Italy had taken video and photographs of the SPG while under tests. I think he has demonstrated my experiments in Italy recently in the international conference they had there in the end of May. Um, based on the design of my latest space power generator, a slightly larger machine would be just okay for producing 15 to 20 kilowatts of power at more than 500 percent for use with electrolyzers that will produce hydrogen and oxygen gases. Now intending to write on the major experiments with each model of the space power generator that I've s tried so far in a suitable article and publish the same so that these could be useful to other researchers. And he's willing to have people come there and take videos of his experiments. You had earlier written to me whether video can be taken of the SPG during demonstration, I think there should be no problem at all for this. So, if you care to take yourself to uh, Karwar in Karnataka, India, in the southern uh, western uh, part uh, near the coast south of Goa, about 150 kilometers, uh, Paramahamsa Tawari will be happy to show you his end machines uh, and all the various models and what he's doing. And, of course, uh, this little intro, which Roy always gives me when I come here, is that I've created more controversy than anybody else, and, uh, you know, I've, everybody's given him a hard time over De Palma and all that. Well, De Palma, after all this time, has been examining uh, just why it is that De Palma has had such a hard time from this establishment in this country and I what just went through my mind as I was listening to Craig Hewlett last night on uh, on Roy's show and Craig was saying you'll never get a solar cell from uh, what was it the US government or we'll have to wait till hell freezes over before they'll do anything for that about that and uh, it's been